Hi, dear to McNamara here at Letterkenny IT. Just going to show you a few tips and tricks in Windows 7. Okay, the first thing I want to show you how to do is how to um, flick between open applications. So just so I can show you that, I'm going to open up Microsoft Word by clicking on the blue W down here. Uh, and in here, I'm just going to type in business award. Okay, and I'm going to save that file save as business report I'm putting it into uh, the documents library business report and uh, no actually you know what I'll put it onto my X drive so I'm putting it onto my X drive and I'm going to just call this folder class class notes okay and go down into it so it's business report in a folder called class notes and save okay I'm going to open up a new file in Word uh, blank document and I'm going to type in um, diary and I'm going to save that uh, save as I'm going to keep it in the class notes folder and I'm going to call it diary and save okay so at the moment I have two documents open I have my diary open and I have my business report open I'm going to open up PowerPoint as well and type in show Okay, and I'm going to open up Excel as well and just type in costs. Okay, so I've quite a few things open on my desktop at the moment and you can see I've got my Excel, my PowerPoint, my business report and my diary. If you want to tidy things up and have only one thing on it, so I'm going to click into my diary and actually I'd like everything else to minimize and only have my diary open. If I grab the title bar and shake it, you'll see that everything else gets minimized. Now they're not closed, they're just minimized down onto the taskbar. If I hold my mouse over um, the taskbar down here, um, you can see that I have two Microsoft Word documents open. If I want to click, for example, onto my business report, I haven't clicked, I'm just holding my mouse over those particular ones there. You can see I can conflict between the two. I can now click on business report and it becomes the topmost um, window and it's selected and I could maximize that. I can then go to my PowerPoint and you can see I have only one item open there so I click on it and it's now open. And again just showing you the shake, if I shake on the title bar there everything else gets minimized and I now only have my uh, Microsoft PowerPoint um, open. Uh, another little trick is to use the window uh, key on your keyboard, that's the one that's got the little flaggy thing in between the control and alt buttons on the keyboard on the bottom left hand corner. If you hold down the um, window flag and you use the tab keys you can see I can scroll through each of the options that are open and using up my computer's resources. And uh, Whichever one I stop on, for example if I stop on Excel, Excel is now the topmost item uh, on my desktop. Um, another thing I might want to do is I might want to have a program listed um, in the start menu. So, at the so when I click on the start bar on this particular PC, you can see I have Camtasia Studio, which is a video package. I've got Publisher and Microsoft Access, but I don't have, for example, Microsoft Word listed here. So to make it stuck onto the start bar, if I click on all programs and then scroll down and find... Microsoft Office and I can find here Microsoft Word 2010 if I right mouse click it and I click on pin to start menu so this is the start menu here and this is the taskbar here so you can see I have it stuck on the taskbar and I have a choice to unpin it or I can stick it here in the start uh, menu as well so I'm going to put this into the uh, start menu and then I'm going to click away and show you what that does. And you can see here I've got Microsoft Word. Now I can reorder these by clicking and dragging and moving them down. Oh, sorry, what um, yeah, and so you can just click and drag them down um, to wherever you want to position them. So that's a very handy feature in my, our Windows 7. So for example, if a calculator was something that I used regularly and I wanted to have a little shortcut for it here on the, ta on the taskbar, if I click on the start uh, button and click on all programs, 
go down into uh, accessories and find the calculator. If I right mouse click on the calculator and pin to taskbar, you can see here, if I click away, I now have a shortcut for opening up the calculator. So if I click on the calculator here, it automatically opens it uh, up here. I'm now going to close all of the applications I've opened at the moment. Uh, I won't save that. I won't save that. Um, business report we saved already and um, the diary we had saved already. Now imagine we had gone home and we wanted to find the diary and we couldn't remember where we put it. Um, so there's two ways of doing it. You can actually just type it in here into the search bar here and type in diary and anything um, that mentions the word diary is listed here and so you can see here is listed the file called diary and if I click on it opens it opens up the document I saved earlier. Um, another place if you want more control over it if I open up my computer and I can do that by clicking on this button down here on the taskbar or I can open up here and go to computer in here in the start menu. Uh, and if I want to look in a particular location, so for example if I want to look on my USB stick or if I want to look on my network drive, I can use this option. So for example if I decide to choose my X drive, which is the one over here, and I type in here, what have we got, business, business report, it was. and search and I have anything with the term e or business report is listed here and it can take a while to find it. So it lists up here any files that match that particular um, location and I'll just hit X because this is going to take a while. Um, I could also decide to, ch to search my USB stick instead. So Transcend is the brand of my USB stick. It's in the F drive. So I click onto the, my Transcend and in here I type in, for example, um, business. And it starts to list any files or folders with the word business um, that's, that are on my um, USB stick. So here's a list of all the files on my USB stick that have the word uh, business. A nice feature in Windows 7 is the ability to save or make a favourite of a particular location on your USB drive or your network drives. So I'm just going to show you that now. So I'm going to open up your computer here um, and I'm going to um, choose my X drive um, and we already created this class notes for folder earlier on in the video. So I'm going to select my, go down into my class notes and you can see here we're in computer, uh, my X drive and down in my class notes folder. So this is an area that I use regularly uh, and at the moment and I want to have this listed in my favorites area up here. So all I do is I right mouse click on favorites here and add current location to favorites. So there's now a shortcut up here to class notes. So for if, for example, I choose my USB drive and I'm down into ICT um, and I'm down in this particular area and I want to go directly um, to my class notes, all I do is I click on class notes and it takes me straight to that area. It works not only within uh, the My Computer um, tool, but also within Microsoft Word. So if, for example, I open up Microsoft Word, and I'll just maximize this, um, and I can type in um, accountancy. And I want to save this into um, my class notes folder. If I click on file, save as. Uh, up here, over on this side here, you can see my favorites are listed. So I can click into class notes and it immediately takes me to the right location. The file is called accountancy and I'll call it accountancy draft and I can hit the save button. Okay, this is the end of the third video on Windows 7.